Welcome back to our noon show today. One of my all-time favorite guests. I've mentioned this every time she's been on. Her name is Arlene Sogstead. Most of you already know her, and you know what? It's a very special day for her because it is her 100th birthday today, May 16th. Congratulations, Arlene. Thank you very much. So uh, what's it like to be 100? Tell me how you got to this point. You know, to try to give anybody a, a accurate answer to that is beyond my imagination. It really is because one day at a time, as everybody has, is part of what it takes. And a positive attitude, I can do a love of people. I can't think of anybody that I do not love. But more than anything else, of course, you come with good genes. Yeah. <laughs> and if you have good health, that helps. And if you get involved with people, some people, the older they get, the more they sit in a rocking chair, and maybe that's probably their choice. That doesn't happen to be my choice. I just want to be doing. When somebody says, I, do you ever get out? Do I ever get out? I'm probably never, ever at home if there's something to do that I like to do. And all of this involvement, I think, as I look back over the years, started with the media. Yep, Arlene actually worked in the media at one point. So tell us about I, that. I actually did because somebody thought that I could do it. And for $35 a week, <laughs> I edited a newspaper, the Ward County Independent, without any previous education or whatever it takes to put together anything. But somebody thought I could do it. And that called for me to become involved in the community. I had to have my sources of information. And where could I get them? Well, part of my information came from my <coughs> involvement in the Minot Quota Club, because that was a group of women who were involved in a number of different areas. And evidently, I just got attached to them. <laughs> and from there... <laughs> Well, now you're known for being involved with cultural activities. In fact, you even have a theater named after you. Yes, I do. So now. that is quite an honor. And uh, tomorrow night, they're going to the cast is going to put on Godspell uh, in the Arlene, and there's a sign up there now, so you can't miss it. Uh, just close to the Carnegie and uh, yep. close, well, downtown Minot. So but, 100 years old, and you're going to be there tomorrow night, right? Oh, of yeah. course I am. <laughs> but. Of all the things that, that I have done that I'm proud of is, has been the production of Four Wonderful Children. Edward, who is my first, my introduction to parenthood, and uh, he and his wife live in West Virginia. And then Gail, the second one, uh, is a teacher and lives in Ohio. And the third one, Linda Erickson, teaches over at Lincoln Press uh, School, the first grade, and Craig, my baby, uh, is the one who keeps me financially sound. He's yeah. my farmer. And all of them have uh, attachments who are wonderful to me. And then the grandchildren, of course, came along and the great grandchildren, so I have a whole you have a huge host family. Of, of built built in. Well our uh, president of our company, David Wrighton, is standing by and he's coming and he's gonna sit by you, Arlene. So you turn your head, he's got something to show you. I got the happiest hundredth birthday, happy hundredth birthday, Arlene. It's a cake just for you. And <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, very nice uh, on behalf of everybody in Minot uh, who knows you, they most certainly love you if they know you. This is a great, great day, and we sure appreciate you being around for 100 years, and we don't want you to go anytime soon. So On to 101. On to 101. That's, <laughs> piece that's yeah. a piece of cake. That's a piece of cake. She mentioned that earlier today. She says, uh, everything is a piece of cake, and by golly, isn't this good? But look. Preferably spice. Yeah, spice. All right, <laughs> spice of spice cake. But we all love you, Arlene. We're Thank so you. happy to have you around for a hundred years, and we're on to 101. 
and uh, just keep up the great work, and uh, congratulations. That from the great Poobah. The great Poobah <laughs> who listened to the greater Poobah. So <laughs> do it that way. But we love you, Arlene. Thank, thank we you, we love you very much. Mm. There you go. And love you and, and wish you the very best. Thank you. You're I looking appreciate great. It. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, very and good. I appreciate the writings. Uh, okay. Chet and Joy are watching, so we can all you, you wave know, right now. If, if it hadn't been for Chet, I wouldn't know what a boon I was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because he called me one day, didn't you, Chet? <laughs> and you said, would you? put on a Buddha show. Buddha, what is that? At the yeah. Host Fest, yeah. you were very active in the Host Fest, yes. Yes, and I count those years that I did the Buddha show as exciting, exciting shows. But anyway, uh, all of the organizations and all the people with whom I've been involved, I love and I count them as keeping me alive. Well, well, we are glad you're here, Arlene, and thank you so much for coming out today yeah. on your birthday. Thank you for we helping appreciate me that. celebrate. You bet, and we're going to be right back with and more. Could I, should, could I blow a kiss? Yes, do that. This is for little Jack at home. This is for you, Jack. <laughs> All right. I promised him before I left that I'd blow him a kiss. He was born in February, so he won't know the difference, but this is for you. The relatives know. All right, All right thank we'll you, Arlene. See you later. And I